Hey, what's up guys? Got a good topic for you. It's all about motivation. It's all about how do we offset that burnout? How do we go to work day in, day out and keep moving forward? I know how difficult it is with the labor shortage. It's easy to throw the towel in and to give up. No one really understands what's going on behind the closed doors in the kitchen. As soon as something goes wrong, the problem's gonna be posted on Yelp and Open Table and all these other websites. They don't understand that you're working short staffed and you're having product delivery issues or whatever the case is. They don't understand that. And it's frustrating and it's easy to get down. But how do we push through that? Well, I just wanna speak from the heart on this topic. I'm just gonna let you know exactly what's worked for me so that maybe there's something in here that you can apply to your own game that'll help you stay motivated. So the first thing I do is I have a very good understanding that working in a kitchen is difficult. And when it's difficult, you get these career building blocks. And those career building blocks, you can apply to anything else that you're doing. It might be another job, it might be a gym, a relationship, maybe a hobby, but the skills that you learn in the kitchen, such as the ability to overcome adversity, discipline, professional communication, whatever it is. So just knowing that what I'm doing, and even though it's difficult, if I push through it, it's gonna make me stronger and better, and no matter what I try to accomplish in the rest of my life, I'm gonna be able to accomplish, just because I'm going through the pain and the suffering and the hard work right now. I'm a goal setter. I have goals inside of my career and outside of my career. A career goal you might have is to be an executive chef. So focusing on the day that you finally make executive chef is gonna be amazing. You have to hold on to that feeling. You have to know and visualize what that's gonna be like that day that that finally comes. And every single day when you're presented with a problem, you have to know and understand that that problem is something that it's better to deal with now and understand why you're dealing with the problem and so that when you're an executive chef or at a higher position, it's not a problem anymore because you've already dealt with it. Dealing with these problems and dealing with failures is gonna be something that makes you stronger and you have to know and understand that. And that's kind of where the burnout comes from. It comes from frustration. It comes from feeling like you're overworked. So having a mindset and a mentality that we're just building our skill sets. It's gonna make our future job and our future tasks a lot easier because we're going through the struggle now. So that's how you have to look at failure. And that's how you have to apply the failure as a learning opportunity to achieve your goals in the future. Another way to stay motivated is to focus on education. Focus on the learning, focus on becoming a subject matter expert. If you have the ability to positively impact those around you, that's a good life. That's called leaving your legacy. And I wanna have a legacy for others to follow as well. You know, I might not be Gordon Ramsay, I might not be one of these celebrity chefs that has all this media attention and has the ability to impact the lives of millions. But what I do have the ability to do is to possibly impact one person that's gonna go on in their career to impact the lives of millions. And that's what I'm really focused on. You never know what those that you're inspiring around you are gonna grow and blossom into. How amazing would it be to positively impact one of your employees and to see them in the future going on to do something amazing and incredible and possibly even something that you couldn't accomplish. But all the while knowing that you are what inspired them to get there. But if you give up on yourself, you might never have the opportunity to see that in the future. Another thing that helps me stay motivated is I go home and I reflect. I reflect on my day. I can truly put my feet up on the couch, have a cold beverage, drink it, and know that the peace I'm feeling now is something that a lot of people will never experience in their life. I know that the work I'm doing is so challenging and so difficult mentally and physically that these people that work nine to five just don't understand. The hard work that I put in and the sacrifice that I make for my kitchen and for my employees and for myself is something that no one truly understands. You don't understand until you're in that position. I truly don't think that there's any job more difficult than working in a busy kitchen. So because I'm able to reflect on that, I get a piece as soon as I walk out that kitchen door that no one truly understands except for myself. But if I submit to the adversity that I'm facing and if I let it beat me up and tear me down and don't stay motivated and stop working, that's really gonna prevent me from getting that feeling. So I focus on that feeling and I know how good it's gonna feel as soon as I go home. You work so hard and you push so far. So when you finally get to that point, you feel so good and no one can take that away from you. So that's another thing that I reflect upon to stay motivated. And finally, find a mentor. Find someone else that's gonna hold you accountable. That way, you can't let yourself down without letting someone else down. A lot of people give up on themselves, but it's a lot more difficult to give up on someone else as well. 
So I hope this helped. I hope that you were able to take something from this video. Again, this is just speaking from the heart and I'm just letting you know things that I've applied in my career. For me, this is what works and this is what keeps me going. If there's anything else that keeps you motivated, please leave it in the comment below and share it to everybody. And please subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. It goes a long way of helping me accomplish my goal of positively impacting kitchen employees around the country.